the winner of the Global Teacher Prize for 2019 is Peter Tabachi. I was excited. I just found myself shedding tears. I shed tears because uh, I was recalling what all the challenges uh, I've gone through and what the challenges that the community I serve, the kind of challenges they, they go through. So it, it reminded me, uh, it, it was a kind of a quick reminder of what I'm, uh, what's happening back at home. Like now to start with, um, thing of uh, making my school like if it possible becomes uh, like a model school where the other schools from Africa and the rest of the world they like aspire to be in that kind of a school and I'll be able to come up with the projects, projects that will benefit the students and trying to address most of these challenges which they face. Students that I teach, they come from very poor backgrounds, and then the, the school doesn't have a, a, enough facilities. There's poor infrastructure, uh, like now we don't have a kitchen, we don't have uh, the library, all of these sorts of facilities. Yeah, and then at the same time we have a shortage of teachers. To make learning interesting, I had to come up with the ways, have to be like be innovative. And one of the things that I did was to motivate students to come up with innovations, uh, participating in uh, science fairs, and they have uh, really done so well. They are shining, uh, qualified even to participate at the national level and also at the international level. And then uh, to address the problem of the teacher shortage and also to make learning interesting, I integrate ICT. We have a, a projector, we have a, a desktop computer. So um, I get material from online, but unfortunately accessing internet is a big challenge. So I have to go to the nearby cyber caves, which are it's a quite some distance, and uh, download videos and the only content. And then later on I use uh, those projectors for PowerPoint presentation. At times, they don't have meals at home, and when they have not taken breakfast, the level of concentration is very low. And that's why the school has decided to give them porridge, at least to make them uh, really have that concentration in class. Lawrence Tabichi Yanga. I lost the mother at the age of 11 and took over everything, was doing everything for the family, giving us the best education, instilling moral and Christian value in us. And he taught me to be aliserient, selfless, and have humility told me that if I am humble, I'll be able to move very far. And he has been emphasizing that one for a long time. And it's just now this happening, winning this, it's just like a dream which has now turned into a reality.